Jeffrey Tubin, where do we start? Let's start with the verdict, which I believe really sort of showed the divide between black and white in America. It, 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 was, it was palpable, is that the right word? Well, you know, this story was enormous to start with. But the thing that really, I think, resonated um, and made this story even bigger were those videos that I'm sure lots of people remember, because everybody knew when the verdict was coming. And you had groups of African Americans, and you had groups of white people, and you saw the differing reactions to the verdict. And that was such a wake-up call to um, the uh, profound racial differences that persist in this country. And as, as important as the trial was in and of itself, the reactions to it, I thought, were even more important because they said something even bigger. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson, a human being, as charged in count one of the information. The jury has spoken. Obviously, you're very happy. I'm very happy for his family, for his children. What did you think that meant for society as a whole because I, I think everyone remembers where they were when the verdict came down. It's one of those things that I remember where I was for 9-11. I remember where I was for the OJ verdict. I remember being in a newsroom and just watching the reaction of people in the newsroom. Well, you know, it was um, an illustration of um, racial differences towards the criminal justice system mm -hmm. and the, um, the fact that so many African Americans had and have bad experiences with law enforcement, they were either ready to believe that OJ was in fact framed, or they believed that this message sent, uh, this verdict sent a message about how African Americans were perceived that um, they were glad that OJ was acquitted. And I think um, white Americans, by and large, have more confidence in, in the judicial system and thought OJ was proven guilty. And the fact that you had this single moment where the where you know people were on camera with their unrehearsed reactions, it was just um, such an incredible insight into where we were as a country and probably where we still are. It was a thing that people kept to themselves until that happened. It was so emotional and so powerful. I have to say, Jeffrey, I know you're an attorney I think you were a practicing attorney then, but this, I want to get to what this meant for the media, right? Because it, it created a whole industry. I think it changed the media. Did you become a TV lawyer after that? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, there was really no such thing um, as, as legal analysts be before OJ, but there was this incredible amount of interest and there was a need for people to kind of translate legalese into uh, understandable English. And I became part of, of the first generation of those folks. But again, Don, I mean, it, it, that's the only beginning of the news media differences. No internet, no social media, mm -hmm. no MSNBC, no Fox News. The only two news networks were CNN and Court TV mm -hmm. of blessed memory. And the, the fact that OJ was on those around the clock sort of made the case even more ubiquitous than anything could be today because there just were so many fewer news choices then than there are now. Well, I remember uh, for me, we, it was just sort of normal news every day. I was working at uh, Fox 5 on the Upper East Side of Manhattan and because of the interest in the ratings, we created a show called OJ Today that just was basically cable news on broadcast. And I just remember I, I, I made my chops there, learning how to do news on the fly, turning around sound bites, saying this is interesting, just watching the feeds. I think that, that's when, that was my sort of graduate school, shall we say, for broadcast journalism. But it, 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 it did create, uh, like Court TV was there, um, I think HLN uh, was there, but it created a whole nother portion of the media and the news industry. People well, like and, and you, Star Jones, uh, I forget the, who was the guy from, there was a guy, another guy who was at NBC and then went to uh, Court TV as well. Um, the, yeah, there was Ford. Jack, Is it Ford Jack Ford and Dan Abrams, yeah. Cynthia McFadden, uh, Greta Van Susteren and, uh, and Roger Cossack had a show on CNN for many years as a result afterwards. 
Um, uh, you know, it, 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 but it, it also, I think, forced a recognition in, you know, news management that people really like trials and people, you know, uh, you know, like the drama and the strategy. And, and that led to um, the, co you know, all the cases I've covered subsequently, whether it was Tim McVeigh or uh, Michael Skakel or um, um, uh, Martha Stewart. I mean, all these big cases, um, none of them were as big as OJ, but the coverage reflected what people learned in OJ. You were inside the courtroom, correct? I was indeed. You can look at the, t the clip on YouTube and what you will say is what I say is, God, you were really young. <laughs> but what did that feel like? Um, I felt like um, we had left the gravitational pull of the earth. I really did. I was so shocked. And, and look, let me you know, be honest. I thought then and think now that OJ was guilty and ultimately thought the jury would see things the same way, especially since um, the jury only deliberated for one day. This trial went on for months and months, and they only deliberated for one day. And I thought, well, this is so obvious. Um, and and I, I remember being lightheaded and thinking that the story is even going to get bigger now because um, I remember thinking also, OJ is going home today. You know, that in and of itself was a gigantic story because he'd been in custody since he was arrested. The fact that he was going home, it was, you know, it, it just propelled the story even further. Now, of course, I was sitting in the courtroom. I didn't know about all these video shots of the racial differences in the reaction to the verdict, which again projected the murder, uh, projected the uh, importance of the story even bigger. But um, it was certainly an unforgettable moment. Do you think it made the race relations better or worse, or just exposed how we already felt? I think really the latter, Don. I think it was it was more that it was a kind of X-ray into uh, what a lot of people think about uh, race in the criminal justice system, and and you know it, 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 that's why you know because the verdict was genuinely unknown until the moment was announced, and people didn't have a chance to rehearse their reactions. You saw this. Uh, reaction that was purely emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the x-ray into uh, our collective soul that was um, so revealing and disturbing to a lot of people that we saw things so differently. So we have all of these trials coming up with the, the former president, Donald Trump. Do you think there will be similar interest as OJ in the outcome and, and watching of these trials if, uh, you know, if there's cameras in the courtroom or even if there isn't? There, there, there will not be cameras in the courtroom in New York, which is the case that's about to start. Um, there will not be cameras in the two federal cases because there are no cameras in the federal courts. There probably will be cameras in the Georgia courtroom, but that case, as far as I can tell, is on a slow boat to nowhere. Um, I think there will be a tremendous amount of attention, but because it won't be televised, you won't have the same kind of play-by-play, -play. you won't have the same interest in the peripheral witnesses, the Cato Kalins of the world, um, who became briefly so famous uh, because of OJ. Um, it'll be much more of a news story rather than a national obsession, that is the, the Trump trials, but it's gonna be a big deal. Jeffrey Tubin. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, pal. See ya.